Eli Clare's The Mountain illustrates but also complicates the social model of disability. He presents certain facts about his body, that he has poor fine motor control, that he is unable to write quickly, use a knife, pick up objects, type well, or play the piano due to shaky hands, and he describes them as impairments. He then presents other facts about his life, such as that he failed tests because institutions and teachers wouldn't give him extra time or wouldn't accommodate the fact that with cerebral palsy, he couldn't write fast, not allowing him to use a typewriter or a tape recorder. He describes impatient cashiers, unemployment, and people staring at him, and these he describes as disability. But then Claire considers the case of not being able to climb to the top of the mountain. He describes initially thinking that his inability to climb the mountain is just about impairment. On further reflection, however, he thinks about all the people he knows who can't or don't want to climb to the top of the mountain, who don't have cerebral palsy, and many people who may or may not be able to climb it, who don't bother or don't care, or prefer to take flat, even paved trails. This raises the question, why does Claire care so much about climbing to the top of the mountain? In part, he cares because he loves mountain climbing. He is clearly a nature lover, and he describes loving the ocean, as well as the mountains, and also loving trees. And yet, Claire recognizes that in part, he cares about being able to climb to the top of the mountain because he wants to overcome disability. He wants to be a super crip. What is the problem with being a super crip or with wanting other people to be super crips? What is wrong with overcoming disability or wanting disabled people to overcome and inspire us with their overcoming? Claire writes, quote, the stories of super crips rely upon the perception that disability and achievement contradict each other and that any disabled person who overcomes this contradiction is heroic. To believe that achievement contradicts disability is to pair helplessness with disability, a pairing for which crips pay an awful price. The non-disabled world locks us away in nursing homes. It deprives us of the resources to live independently. It physically and sexually abuses us in astoundingly high numbers. It refuses to give us jobs because even when a workplace is accessible, the speech impediment, the limp, the ventilator, the seeing eye dog are read as signs of inability. The price is incredibly high. On the other side of supercryptum lies pity, tragedy, and the nursing home. Disabled people know this, and in our process of knowing, some of us internalize the crap. We make supercrypt our own, particularly the type that pushes into the extraordinary, cracks into our physical limitations. We use supercryptum as a shield, a protection, as if this individual internalization could defend us against disability oppression, close quote. It is for this reason that Claire continued to climb Mount Adams for an hour and a half after the point at which he was scared. He did so because he felt that he had to overcome his disability. He had to show that he was a super crip. It is also significant that everyone encouraged Claire to be a super crip. Everyone said, you can do it. Even after descending the mountain, everyone encouraged him not to give up, to try again. No one said, you made the right choice when you turned around. Everyone encouraged Claire to overcome his disability rather than to be safe to recognize the limits of his particular body, although all of our bodies have limits. Claire's The Mountain thus illustrates the social model of disability, but there may also be a critique of the social model in the essay. Claire writes, quote, to neatly divide disability from impairment doesn't feel right. My experience of living with cerebral palsy has been so shaped by ableism, or to use Oliver's language, my experience of impairment has been so shaped by disability that I have trouble separating the two, close quote. That is, ableism impacts how Claire experiences not only disability, but impairment. Claire thus pushes us to ask, is the impairment-disability distinction that is central to the social model a false distinction? If we did not live in an ableist society, would impairments not be impairments at all?